we're rolling this morning. We took the Sabbath off because as many of you know in our family, we're uh, very religious and so we don't hunt on Sunday. But we're back at a bright and early this morning. Uh, I think Jacob's excited for this morning because when I woke up at 4.30, he was already up and ready to go. So today might be the day that he's just excited to go kill an elk. Anyways, we're back and rolling and uh, should be a good day today up on the mountain. So join us. We're going to go have some fun. Zoom out. Give, 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 Give him a thumbs up. Yeah, we bumped. Nice, let's go. Saturday night. They should be here. Let her up. Pretty big. Oh. He really ain't that bad. He's a good looking six. He's not big, but he's a good looking six. I'm gonna free up that sucker. Big one. You shot it. 
Friday night, on Saturday night, I just ran out of H cheese. I don't think that would happen. Okay. Yeah, that big one's a lot, was a lot. Of You go. I think we picked the wrong trail. Can you get over it? You make it? So, uh, a while back, a year or so ago, we found a dead head up here. A little four point buck dead head. And uh, we left it here. The DWR officer came and checked it out and he told us we could come and get it. And this is the first time we've been back in the area. There's the bones. And the dead head was right over here. So we're going to see if, see if it's here or somebody uh, else has found it and hauled it out of here. Just look around right in here somewhere. Just look around in the bushes right over there. Oh, we'll see if we can find it. If we find it, we'll show you. If not, we walk down in here for nothing. Oh, Jace found it. All right, here we go. Here we come. Yeah, you can pick her up and check it out. There's the dead head we found. Not too shabby, huh? Cool little dead head. And uh, the DWR officer told us we could... Uh, pull it out of here if we were ever back in this area so we were just up the hill this morning so we decided to come down and get it we've also got a raghorn five point bowl over there but it's in a sea of quakies we probably won't go get it it would be ugly to get it but yeah we'll haul that sucker out and uh go put him in the garage with the rest of them yeah turn him a little so we can see him pretty sweet not a bad buck. It'd be a heck of a first, ar first archery buck for you. It's too bad he was dead already, huh? So, the ruling in Utah is if you find a dead head, you get GPS coordinates and you turn them into the DWR and the DWR will send an officer out to investigate it. And if they uh, can't find that it was poached well not necessarily poached but killed killed by a weapon uh, if it was a natural death or a predator death or if they can't determine one way or the other then uh, you can keep they can uh, they can write you a possession ticket and uh, you can keep the horns that you found so we contacted last year two years ago when we found this buck um, we contacted the DWR officer and uh, they gave us permission to, if we were ever back in the area, to pull it out. So today we were right up above where we were, and Joey and Jace wanted to go down and get him. Hold him up again, Jace. That's a pretty sweet little buck. Not bad at all. Do it right, and you can get the horns back. Looks pretty sweet. Too bad it's not uh, a real kill, huh? Too bad we're not loaded down with the meat well with it. Yeah, we've had some lunch. And uh, Jake and I are gonna head down into a spot and set for the evening where we've watched bulls pass in and out in the mornings coming in and then the evenings coming out of. And we're gonna get down in there and set. Joshua and the boys are going to get up on the ridges above us and uh, be able to see what's coming in if anything's coming. So hopefully this will work. Hopefully the bulls will start moving a little earlier than uh, they have in the 
in the past because they got to start moving and feeding but it's so hot that uh, they don't get out of bed until almost dark so I looked at the weather um, yesterday at home and did notice that uh, we're gonna get a good drop off in temperature this next week a good 15 degrees down in town so that's a good 15 to 20 degrees up here that's gonna drop in temperature which should be huge for us but hopefully we can just get it done tonight and not worry about that so Jake and I are on our way out and the boys are coming behind us and we'll go sit for the evening to see what happens it's been a real slow day exactly what the elk were supposed to do, not the moo cows. Jacob would have had a perfect 20 yard broadside shot. Now we just need the big bulls to do that. That's what we set right here. <laughs> 